Hello Art Beaters! Becky here for ArtBeads.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today I'm making some jewelry that combines Prestige Crystal Fine Rocks tube beads with some of my favorite flower beads that are available on our site. Flower beads are featured bead of the month for July, so I thought they were the perfect bead to pair with our Fine Rocks tubes, which are just glittery, glittery and oh so pretty. Um, so let's start making some fun jewelry with these pretty beads. So Prestige Crystal Fine Rocks tubes are so, so pretty. And we just got a bunch back in stock and um, just wanted to highlight these because they're a really unique crystal bead option. So these are the Fine Rocks tubes. They are two beads as the name implies. And the surface is covered with just tiny little crystals embedded into the surface. So they kind of have that almost geode or druzy look. So cool, I love them. And they come in different sizes, eight millimeter, 15 millimeter, and 30 millimeter. And you'll also find them with capped ends and non-capped ends. So you can add whatever you like to the ends. So these are just such fun beads and we have a lot of inspiration for these in our design studio already. And you can shop these really easily right now. Head to artbeads.com, our homepage. And in our new and noteworthy section, you'll find a nice little link with a picture of the Fine Rocks tube beads for you to shop all of the pretty colors and sizes. They are just so much fun. Yes, they really are stunning in person. They're dazzling because they glitter and gleam just so wonderfully. So these, these are some earrings that you'll find in our design studio. I've got links in the video description as well for you to find this tutorial. Um, they're super easy to work with because they are so glam and gorgeous on their own. You can really do something simple and you can also use them in more intricate pieces. So all I did here was use them as a link on an eye pin attached a nice little tiara cast lotus drop charm on the bottom, added the earwires to, ear wires to the top, super chic pair of earrings that you could wear anywhere. Um, you can also pair them with other prestige crystal options because of course the prestige crystal colors look perfect with these wonderful fine rocks tubes. This is a really fun one. This is the, um, I think this is a mix of jet and astral pink colors. So it's like this dark magical gleam. Look at how they sparkle. So fun. And again, these are the capped version of the bead. And I just paired them. I kind of picked up on the colors that are sparkling here in the tube bead. I picked up on those subtle colors and added more of those and so I've got some yellow opal, some purple, and then a jet AB crystal. Um, so really beautiful. I kind of love the dark sparkle of that. So, so pretty. Love those. And I like the big jump ring too that I used to add those dangles. I think that adds a fun little element. So really fun. You can have fun by pairing it with more crystal. This is another example of how beautiful they look with other prestige crystals. We've got this long 30 millimeter size here. This is the non-capped version, so the ends are just plain and we used fire polished beads to cap the beads as it were. Yes, D, these tubes sparkle. They really do. Like I said, they're like druzy or, or geodes, just the way that the, the little crystals are embedded into the surface of the bead. They look like treasures. They really do. Um, and we paired them here with some prestige crystal pendants um, in a complementary color, just that wonderful soft purple. These earrings just say summer to me. And I like pairing these earrings with unique ear wire shapes too. You can see we've got these V-shaped ear wires, these more rounded ones here. Because these beads are kind of unique and different on their own, they look great with some fun ear wire shapes like the V's and the more rounded pieces. So they're just really beautiful. Yes, I love the sparkle too, Diane. They're just amazing. I, I can't get enough of them. And we have a lot of great options available now on our website, artbeads.com. So make sure to shop. Um, this is a nice little super quick pendant option. Again, this is one of the versions with no capped ends. But what we did was we added spacers to make it look like it's capped. And then just added a bicone dangle in the same color. This has kind of a rose gold color 
scheme going on made a simple loop at the top and what i did here is i used a finished necklace i just wanted something quick and easy so all you have to do is make a little dangle and attach it to this necklace that is already complete with a clasp attached so super easy this is a great gift idea um, for the holidays speaking of the holidays we have these fine rocks two beads and some wonderful colors for christmas um love the little earrings holiday earrings with these these have little tiara cast snowman charms attached to the bottom again we use little spacer beads as the caps for these crystal fine rocks tubes and i love that clear color in that fine rocks tube um you can see they kind of look like glistening icy snow so perfect for pairing with a snowman and then we've got this lovely emerald green color which is perfect with some christmas tree charms so cute and you i just love moving these in your hand because that's where you really see how sparkly these truly are they're just so pretty i love them look at that look at that glitter so beautiful and then of course we had to do something with the red fine rocks two beads as well we've got that paired with santa claus i love the combination here too of um, metal daisy spacers and bicones that makes a really nice end to these fine rocks two beads they almost look like um christmas crackers you know those um those things that you can pop open and there's little prizes inside that's what this little shape reminds me of so cute and then we've got a necklace that combines the red and green colors and even more of those fun um tiara cast charms a whole christmas charm set we've got santa nutcracker candy cane wreath and tree with red and green um red and green fine rocks two beads and these were the non-capped version and we just used bead caps on the ends there's all kinds of really fun ways that you can um, spice up these fine rocks tube beads. They are, they're just so much fun. And then for a little more intricate uh, kind of project, we used them in a knotted necklace. So if you want to brush up on your knotting techniques, this is Griffin Silk Cord, and we paired them with some iridescent purple crystal pearls. And then we've got this fun, this is like a Crystal Paradise shine color, I believe looks beautiful with those purple pearls and then we did a floating knotted necklace here so really fun i love that kind of spaced out knotted necklace look with these beads it just adds something a little more contemporary to the traditional knotted technique so that is really fun too and here's another project where we paired the fine rocks tube beads with um, those crystal pearls in the eden green color for this fun little celtic themed bracelet and earrings set we've got matching earrings here um, love the tiara cast Celtic um, earring posts that were used and the little heart charm as well. Um, that rich emerald green color on the crystal rocks to, on the two beads are perfect with those Eden green up pearls. Just an amazing combination. And then with the gold, it's just the most lucky looking style. So, so pretty love that so all of these pieces are available in our design studio with free instructions and a supplies list to inspire you and get you started creating with these beautiful crystal fine rocks tube beads again we just got a bunch back in stock and um, we have a lot of options beautiful colors and sizes in these fine rocks tube beads they are so much fun and we're gonna play with them today so since we're we're focusing on fine rocks tube beads this week and we've got the flower beads as the bead of the month for july i thought we could combine them for a really fun look here so i picked out a few favorite colors of the fine rocks tube beads and then found some matching flower beads um and so i wanted to create something hi Anne. if you're just joining us we are getting into creating some jewelry on the fly with prestige crystal fine rocks tube beads which are these amazing glittering tube beads that look like druzies or geodes they're just amazing and we're also going to be combining them with our featured bead of the month for july flower beads we have so many beautiful flower bead options so i picked some out in matching colors i have really fun colors here 
uh, for the Fine Rocks 2 beads today. We've got this Crystal Paradise Shine option, which is a darker glitter, but some purples and blues. And then we have this lighter purple option that I think is perfect with that. I love this Aaronite. So this is an Aaronite version of the Fine Rocks 2 beads. And I think it's just a really rich, lush green, not as deep as the emerald, but it reminds me more of like foliage that you would find around flowers. So I thought that was perfect. And then for a little bit of gold, I went with these because they have a really just glamorous golden shimmer to them. And I found some tiara cast pieces that would work really well as well as, as some great flower beads. So we've got these gold check glass forget me not flower beads that make excellent spacers when stringing um, really fun love that and I think that gold matches those fine rocks two beads wonderfully we've got some Raven's Journey wild rose beads um, really pretty and I'm not sure which earrings you're talking about if you saw the ones I was wearing or the ones that I was just showing you uh, but we do have tutorials for all of the finished jewelry that you saw here today it is in our video description but if you specify in the comments I can link you directly to whatever you're looking for so thank you for asking um, yes so we've got some wild rose beads from Raven's Journey love that shape and I thought this was a good color it's kind of like a greenish blue which would look really great with the colors we've got going on here we've also got some bell flowers again I love using these like layering them up as bead caps I think that's really fun we've got this fun earthy strand and a lovely purple strand with a gold shimmer that's going to match everything here just perfectly more wild roses I can't get enough of those and I did add in just some fire polished beads you can never have enough fire polished beads so we've got a lot of pretty things and now that I'm looking here I think these honeycombs would be so cute all linked up as a necklace center and then have like flower dangles coming off of the honeycombs um yeah that would be really pretty so all these flowers coming off the honeycombs i think that would be so fun um so i'm thinking that's the direction that i want to head linking all of these honeycombs together and then um showcasing little flower dangles off the honeycombs because what's what's better than flowers and honey and bees all together and we could do some really fun things with these guys as well Ooh, this is going to be incredible, you guys. Yes. Let's see. And then here. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. So pretty. So then we could do we could do some really fun things with all of this. So let me cut some of these strands so I can get these going yes thank you Jen for adding a link to the earrings I'm wearing yeah I, I've um I can take one off and show you um I've even got flower beads on the earrings I'm wearing we've got some cute little hibiscus check glass beads with a sand dollar I always think sand dollars have that cute little flower pattern on them so sand dollar maybe not necessarily a flower but it's got a flower look to it so I thought it was perfect for pairing with these cute little cute little hibiscus beads so those are fun so those are the earrings i'm wearing today super fun all right i'm already loving where this is going it's like the honey queen <laughs> and then we can kind of cap some of these fine rocks tubes with these wonderful bellflower beads i love these they're so much fun to use as bead caps super pretty those going cut this strand wow this this is going to be a fun necklace i think and then yeah look at all those pretty colors it's so fun to mix up all your beads for sure all right so we've got these all ready to go all right, so I've got my basic, like this is my basic amazing layout that I want. Um, let's see, and we could even like go even crazier. Like what if we did that? Oh, so pretty. 
like got really crazy with those. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. Make those even longer and kind of mix up the colors. And then, oh, you know, it would look so pretty to finish the necklace. Um, make like beaded links with these gold guys to kind of bring that gold color at the bottom back in. You guys, this necklace is going to be amazing. <laughs> Let's hope. Let's hope it's amazing, right? Um, yeah, so we could do some of this here. That would look pretty. And then we've got to put some more flower dangles in there too. So let's see. I think here at the bottom, that would be really pretty. Let's get some gold going here because these would just make wonderful little bead caps. These little forget-me-nots. Oh, yes. Some more up here with those fire polish. And then let's see. I gotta get some of these guys in there. Oh wait. Do, do. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. This is gonna be such a pretty necklace, I think. Okay, so we've got this, I think, as the focal. It's really pretty. Oh, you know what would be fun here is we don't want this to get like too crazy long. It'd be fun to kind of put like a flower in the middle and then finish it with that little bell flower dangle. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, and then, oh, and then we could make matching earrings too because we have enough of these at Fine Rocks tube beads. Yes, 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 loving this. So what if we did... Boop, boop. Yes, yes. I kind of want these flowers to cascade up, so we're going to keep that more up. I also wanted to experiment with using these like here, like that. That'd be really pretty. So we'll get more into that as we create these little dangles. And we can see like each side, we can kind of play with what we want and see where it goes. So cute, I'm loving this already. This is looking fabulous. All right, let's link up these um, these honeycombs and that'll give us a nice oops, base to work with. So I'm just gonna use some simple little jump rings here and link them all together. And I want to do them in an alternating pattern where the, um, you can kind of see like there's a pointed end on these honeycombs. I want them to go up and down with the center one pointing down to really accentuate that kind of fan look we're going for here. And when I'm closing my jump rings, I like to make sure they're nice and flush. You'll probably hear a little click when they're in place. Okay. Add the next one. I love these honeycomb links. There's so many things you can do with them. They're a fun shape, really fun to work with. And I've got links to all of these pieces that I've gathered to use here in the video description if you want to shop these. Remember, they're all on sale during our 4th of July sale. Everything store-wide is up to 60% off, which is super exciting, and you'll earn double rewards points if you are an Art Beads Rewards member, which you should definitely look into joining because you can spend those rewards points like cash when you accrue enough of them they can go towards your purchases so that's really nice especially if you're addicted to beading like me <laughs> 
Okay, this is coming together nicely. So cute. I'm loving these all together. Haha. -ha. There we go. So we've got our little links. This would be even a cute little bracelet too those all linked together and I believe these are available in different finishes so you could have fun mixing the finishes on a little bracelet too that would be super sweet all right so we've got our honeycombs all ready to go let's get these um, on our eye pins and head pins here I love this just this gorgeous purple color that's so nice so that would be lovely for the center and then I'm thinking what we want is maybe this. Oh, that's so pretty. Loving that. I like that this flower is the different color. These these colors really complement each other really nicely. So let's kind of play with how we want to do these because I really like the idea of capping these with those little bell flowers. Look how cute that is. It's like a little fairy lantern. I love it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's lovely. And then let's see where's the stringing hole in the sky. There it is. Bracelet would be cute with the wild rose beads between the links. Oh, yes, that would be really cute. That's a great idea. So sweet. And then we would do this again. I think that looks really cute, capped like that. So you can see there's all kinds of different ways to play around with the ends of these beads. They're super fun. Um, and maybe we don't have the purple wild rose beads on those, on the inside ones. But then I'm like, mm, do they need the flower? Let's keep going here. So these guys are going to need to be capped somehow, I think. Maybe with just the fire polished beads. Because that's fun. And then we'll need these. And then the last ones are just boop. We'll do the fire polished and the daisy or the forget me not spacer. And see how that looks. They do look like little candies when you cap them like that. Like little wrapped candies. So cute. Really pretty. Okay, so let's visualize this. Hmm. I'm wondering if I want that flower back there. If I add that in, it does make this a little longer. I think I'd have to make my center dangle longer. I do like that one. Maybe. Let's try... Um, what if we did that, like just a little, that's kind of cute. Let's put a uh, fire polished bead in there. What if we did that there? I think that's really cute. Maybe we do that. That's fun. Let's do that. Okay, so that means we got to put this guy on an eye pin instead. Yeah, I like it with the flowers spaced out every other one better, too. I think that just works out better. And these have 
um, pretty generous stringing holes on these Fine Rocks 2 beads. I'm using a little bit of a thicker gauge of eye pin and head pin, and they are working just magnificently. Yeah, super cute. That's perfect. Okay, so let's get those strung up in the same little pattern here on the other side of our centerpiece, and then we can do up all these loops. We're going to have to make some simple and wrapped loops here. I like to kind of plan these out ahead of time before I start making my loops, just so I can kind of see how it's all going to look. Um, I think that's helpful for sure. Another eye pin. Super cute. And then we're doing this guy with the green. Oh yeah, this is looking like the most amazing garden you've ever seen. <laughs> the most sparkly garden. And then for this one, we did this. And then just a purple flower. And then for the last one, do I have another head pin over here? Head pins in my little basket here. There we go. We've got the fire polished spacer to bead spacer fire polish combo for that last one. Okay, so cute. All right, this is going to be just lovely. So I know exactly where I want to attach my uh, links here, that very center honeycomb. So we will start with that one. Um, and I'm thinking that I want to do, um, I think we have enough length to do wrapped loops. And those are super secure and keep the beads really nice and tight all together. So I'm going to do a wrapped loop. You could certainly do a simple loop if you so desired. And actually I might end up doing a simple loop because these might be just a little short for a, a nice wrapped loop. Yeah, those are a little short. So we will do a simple loop on that guy. I'm working with the biggest 30 millimeter size fine rock tube here so that does take quite a bit of length so for simple loops I like to fold the wire down as close as I can to that bead just so I can I'm gonna get a tight fit and then use my round nose pliers to make the simple loop. Really nice fit here. And then I trim the end, and then I like to go in with my chain nose pliers and get that end of the loop nice and close to the stem so it's a nice secure piece. So we will attach that there. Now this one I think I can make a simple loop. We'll see. <laughs> I keep saying that, but no, this one has a lot more length. So this one should be good. And we have great tutorials for making simple loops, wrapped loops on our website, artbeads.com, if you need further help. We've got video help, step-by-step uh, -step photo help, all kinds of wonderful tutorials for you if you need help with that. And this is kind of an interesting bead shape. I've got my loop in there nice, nice and snug so I can trim that wire. Tuck it a little more. And I, I'm going to be careful not to squeeze at all with my pliers on the beads because these are glass beads. 
So you don't want to be breaking your beads as you're working. And I'm going to give my little loop here a little straighten. It ended up a little crooked. There we go. Oh, that is just so cute. I am I'm so excited about this. All right. So let's see. We've got, uh, we're going to open our simple loop at the bottom of our beaded link here and attach that flower dangle. And close it up nice and snug. There we go. So wouldn't that be a cute earring too? We might have to make some matching earrings for this because that is just too darling. So now what I'm deciding is, do I want to attach my loop directly to that honeycomb or do I want to use a jump ring? I'm thinking I'm going to use a jump ring um, just because there will be better movement. So um, I am going to use a jump ring. Because sometimes when you're working with simple loops, if you make your loop on the smaller side, there might not be enough like uh, space for this loop to move freely at the center of your link. Um, so a jump ring just kind of adds a little more space between the two pieces and gives it a little more free movement, which I think is really fun. This is a really playful piece, so a little movement is going to be a lot of fun and I'm going to move this up so I can close these properly. Got the little click. There we go. Now you could certainly, if you're a minimalist, that would be really pretty just on its own, just one center dangle but I like to kind of go crazy <laughs> with my beads. So um, I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna add more, 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 more. Okay, so we can definitely make a wrapped loop at the top of this one. Trim the wire and then kind of tuck it. There we go. So cute. I love it. And then we're making this little dangle here. Oh, wait, no. So this is the, there we go. I got my pieces got messed up. So we want this. Yes, so cute. Oh my goodness. I love those bell flowers as bead caps on the fine rocks tubes. I think those are so, so cute. I'm loving it. Let's see. We can do a good simple or wrapped loop here. Okay, another instance. See, I'm testing this out so you don't have to. So wire's a little short for a wrapped loop at the top of that one again. So we will do a simple loop at the top of that one. Which we might want to start all of these with a simple loop since we've kind of got a pattern going here. The simple loop at the top. So we will continue that pattern going forward. There we go. And these beads, they don't really move a, around a whole lot. They fit really nicely together. So I think simple simple loops work in this instance. And if you wanted to make it go even faster, you could use that one-step looper tool if that is in your toolbox. For sure, go for that. And we'll make a little dangle here. So I think where I want to attach this one is on that first honeycomb kind of dipping down on that link. Yeah, and that'll give us some nice length. Make a wrapped loop for this little dangle. I really like that darker green and that lighter bellflower green color together. 
It's a really nice, just garden look. This is like the sparkly fairy necklace. <laughs> I don't know why, but every time I, I match like flower beads and a uh, prestige crystal, it just looks like fairies to me. Just so magical and pretty. Oh, and this wrapped loop is fun because it's kind of going over the top of the shape of that bell floor, bell flower, <laughs> bell floor. Uh, somebody watches True Blood. All right, there we go. Yes, so cute. So actually, let's see. So we're going to add this one here and then we'll add this one. I want to get my spacing right. We'll add this one at the very end honeycomb link there and then this one on that honeycomb. So this is getting, hmm, is that too long? Maybe we do want a simple loop because that wrapped loop kind of adds some length to that little dangle. So I think I'm going to go back and do a simple loop there as well. Even though that wrap loop is fun with how the um, how the wrap kind of goes onto the top of the bell flower, we want to uh, we want a little bit of a shorter dangle there just to keep the length correct. Yay, Jonalyn! Jonalyn, you have the the flowers and the tubes. Great! I'm so glad this is some fun inspiration for you. I think they're just a perfect match. Flowers and fine rocks tubes, beautiful together. Gonna be that's gonna be a little better yes that length is good and we could also even we could also make this a simple loop and make that length a little bit shorter too so you can see like these um, wrapped loops, you know, they don't add a whole lot of length, but when you're connecting dangles, that length does add up. So that's important to keep in mind when you're creating. And that's why it's also nice to have a few extra eye pins and head pins on hand for when you're your design doesn't go to plan and you maybe have to sacrifice a head pin or two. That was a nice loop there, came together really well. There we go. Now that's the perfect length where I want it. Okay, so let's connect these. I don't know what that was. Here we go. Oh, I just love that. It makes me so happy. And then we'll add our little flower dangle here. Yay. Okay. Yes, that is perfect. All right, so we will add that there. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I am loving this look. To hold this back up again. Yes, oh my goodness. I love it so much. All right, so let's do this one and we will do simple loops because I think that will be perfect. Yes, 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 yes. I'm loving it. I'm loving this Aronite color on that Fine Rocks tube. It's just, oh my gosh. Rich, but not, not, not like the richness of Emerald, but still really lush looking. It's a really nice option.
Now this guy, I'm gonna do a wrap loop on this one. Um, just because this is a really interesting bead shape and I think a wrapped loop might hold it a little bit better. Simple loop would be just fine, but we do have room for a little bit more length on this dangle, so I am fine with doing a wrapped loop on this one. There we go, that turned out really nice. And remember, the more you make wrapped loops and simple loops, the better you're gonna get at it. I have been, I've been making a lot of wrapped loops and simple loops in my time. So, um, and I still, you know, sometimes you still make kind of wonky looking ones, that's okay. Um, the more you do it, the better you get at it. There. This is just so pretty, I love it. Alrighty. Let's attach that guy. Let's see. I think I want it on the very end one. There we go, it's coming along. Oops, there. Oh, look at that, look at how pretty that's gonna be. Yay! All right, and then our last little dangle on this side, we're gonna just do a simple loop, I think. Yeah. I really like that combination of beads there. Just looks regal and beautiful. So lovely already. That one was easy to do. And then we'll do the same on the other side of our center dangle. So pretty. I am really loving how these fine rocks, tubes, and flowers are looking together. Um, so wonderful. They just look like a, an enchanted garden. A secret garden. <laughs> Love that movie. There we go. All right. So cute. Let's get that guy hanging correctly there. Oh! this is going to be lovely. All right, so let's finish up our dangles on this side. So we're doing another simple loop at the top of this guy. Yes, I'm so glad this is inspiring you, Paula. It's inspiring me too. I just love the look of these Fine Rocks Crystals, they're really beautiful. And we have we um, we have had these on the site for a while, but um, we just got um, some more back that may have gone away for a little bit. So that's nice too. Um, so if there were ones that you loved and kind of went away, we might have them back. So make sure to shop. And we have lots of pretty colors, like I said earlier. Um, lots of great sizes. There's eight millimeter, 15 millimeter, and 13 millimeter sizes to choose from. And I'm using the versions that don't have capped in, so you can use whatever you want to cap them or string them all together continuously. Um, but we do have capped versions that come with gold or silver caps included on the bead. Those are really nice options as well. So definitely shop them all. They're right there on our homepage, artbeads.com. In our new and noteworthy section, you'll find them. They're, they're called Fine Rocks Tube Beads. And they're so much fun, so sparkly. They look like druzies or geodes or something. They just look really cool. They're really unique beads. You know, I've never really seen any beads that are quite like these, and I love that. It's fun to design with. It's fun to wear because they just look so unique. Just love them. that on. Yes. 
like that little thing go on and then we're good to go there so cute this is coming together all right and so we're gonna attach it in the same spot that we did on the other side so we're making a mirror image of what we've already done and that was the second from last week we go and this one was also a simple loop and then for the flower we did a wrapped loop loop for this guy and like I said we've got great instructions for all of these techniques on our website if you need further help and definitely check out our youtube channel too art beads videos on youtube i've got lots of great video instructions um i go live every thursday at 10 a.m and i put our live videos um segments of our live videos there but we also have other videos that you might not see on the thursday live so definitely worthwhile to check out that resource there's a lot of great inspiration instruction all kinds of things on our youtube channel so if you're not a subscriber there definitely head over and subscribe lots of resources all right and let's see we attached this one on the very last honeycomb on that last link there we go Ooh, this is fun and last but not least our shortest link on this side we'll do a simple loop so cute I'm so excited for the nice weather so we've got a nice little covered patio out in our backyard my next project I kind of want to make a stock tank pool have you guys seen those I've seen them on Pinterest and TikTok a lot where people turn those stock tanks that are used for like watering your livestock um they turn them into pools and I kind of want to do that because I think it's super cute our yard's not big enough for like a big pool um but I think a cute little like eight foot stock tank pool would be a nice way to cool off so I kind of want to do that I've been looking up like how to how to turn them into pools and everything and there's lots of great inspo on pinterest for like decorating them so i've been having fun looking at that we'll see we'll see if it happens all right this is oh this is just so pretty oh my gosh it's just a garden dream come true that's a beautiful focal for a necklace and now what i think i want to do is Let's get this laying correctly yes so pretty oh my goodness oh i love it let's see yes 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 so i'm loving this it's so cute isn't this so pretty it's just a garden dream really um so what i want to do next is i want to make little beaded links with these gold fine rocks tubes i think that'll be just really pretty yes okay and i also want to um i'm thinking we'll do it like we did those last little links there Oh, we had the stock tank pool when the kids were little. It was a great way to cool off in the hot weather. Yeah, like, you just kind of float around, have a nice, just chill in the in the pool. I think it'd be really fun. I want to do it. <laughs> oh, that's, okay, that 
it's so pretty. Definitely fit for a fairy or elf. Yes, that's what I think. Oh, we have just enough length on this eye pin to create the loop. Yay. Oh, that is so pretty. This would be good for holiday jewelry too. I could see this uh, pairing this with like a red pearl. It'd be really pretty Christmas earrings. Oh my goodness, I love it. Yes, okay, I really love how this amazing fairy queen <laughs> <laughs> amazing fairy queen necklace turned out you know what this reminds me of um midsummer night's dream uh that's just such a magical like fairy looking um i'm thinking i think i'm thinking of the movie with michelle pfeiffer i think was in it i just remember that movie looking so lush and magical this is definitely um making me think of that oh so pretty this is oh my gosh this is just really fun to come up with this uh design i love kind of designing on the fly i never really know like where i'm gonna go like when i put the beads out on my tray I kind of get an idea of what I want to start to do, but then sometimes it'll change. Like I wasn't planning on using the honeycomb links to start, but then when I saw how many I had, it made me think like that would be a really pretty um, focal. Yeah, everybody has a different way of making simple loops. And I was like you, I kind of messed them up a lot until I started doing them like this. This is just the easiest way for me. And I know designers all have different ways of making simple loops. So definitely take a look at different techniques. See what works for you, what feels best for you. This is um, definitely the technique I like to use. And you know what I might do here? Because on these, if I link these together, um, it might look a little weird with those two green fire polished. What I might do is I might do a little, and we can use like, do I have an excess one? Maybe not. Um, I might do like a stack of three of these forget-me-nots together between my fine rocks tubes just for a little breakup of that green color. Yeah, that's pretty. We'll do that. Whoops. Now see, this one didn't turn out so great. <laughs> there we go. I don't like how that simple loop turned out. Not tight enough. Try again. Make sure the beans are nice and snug at the bottom of that link. Fold that down. And then There, that's a little better. All right. Super cute. So I'm, I would attach all of these. Let's get these all linked up together.
Yeah, that looks really great. And then we'll attach that there. And I'm gonna use a jump ring. And I've got these wonderful oval jump rings that I think will work really well for the sides of this necklace. There, so cute. And then we just do the same on the other side. Ah, love this. And I have this really cool tiara cast clasp. It's a magnetic clasp. And what's cool about it is it has three loops. So you can attach your uh, clasp here on one end of each of the clasp. And then you can add a dangle there on the back. So I think it'd be kind of pretty to add just a little flower dangle on the back since we've got this flower theme happening. I think that would be really fun. So I, I think I will do that. So let's finish up this side. And um, I haven't checked the length of this necklace yet. I have a suspicion that I will probably need to um, add some more beaded links to the sides or maybe some chain just to make sure that the length is correct on my neck. Um, but once I do that, I will be in good shape to finish up this beautiful fairy queen necklace. I love it. It's so pretty. I love that the colors really came together nicely. You really can't go wrong with purple and green. It's such a lush combo and so just beautiful. I love purple and green combo. I, I use it quite a bit actually and I'm drawn to it. Yes, combining the glamour of the crystal tubes and the earthiness of the wild rose beads and honeycomb links makes this a very versatile piece. Yeah, it is versatile. Um, there is a lot of wonderful combos happening here. So cute. And then one last little forget-me-not link. Then we can kind of hold it up and see what it looks like. <laughs> so pretty. I'd love to know what you guys um, are inspired to make this weekend or maybe in the future. What are you guys wanting to work on next? This was a really fun project. For me, I really love the combo of the Fine Rocks tubes and the flowers. I think those came together wonderfully, exceeded my expectations for sure. I knew I wanted to make something like a necklace or a bracelet because I'm always drawn to make earrings with these. I love them in earrings, so I wanted to really challenge myself and do something maybe that wasn't earrings. <laughs> A struggle for me, I know. Oh, this looks gorgeous. I'm loving this so much. Yeah, we'll close that up. There we go. So we are, oh yes, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Lovely. Okay. That's going to be great. And I think I will need some extra beaded links or chain. Um, and I think I'll just add that um, to the back of the necklace and then use this clasp as my finishing touch. And I will add a little flower dangle. Maybe I'll just add a little, maybe we should add this color since that's the center color. Can do that again on the back that'd be really cute just add a little more flower flare to the back of the piece which is really fun oh yeah that's super cute yeah so really sweet i love how this turned out with the honeycombs and the fine rocks and the flowers just oh a match made in garden heaven <laughs> so pretty i love this oh my goodness i love the kind of 
dangly look to it. Um, I know like fringe is super, super popular. So this is kind of another kind of fringe look or fan look. It's just a really fun kind of almost chandelier piece. So really fun piece. I love how it turned out. Um, we've got lots of Fine Rocks 2 beads from our Prestige Crystal line. To, um, they're available now at our beans.com. You can choose from all kinds of pretty colors. We've got more than just the few color selections I picked out here. There's lots to choose from on our website. I've got links to everything that I used here in the video description as well as to those tutorials I showed earlier. So really fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was inspiring. Maybe you'll start using more of those beautiful Fine Rocks tube beads in your designs. Make sure to leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Always love hearing from you and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell so you're notified every time we add a new video to our channel. Thank you so much again and I will see you next time. Bye.